Welcome, dear viewers, to another exciting episode of our learning journey on MA English. I'm thrilled to have you here with me today as we delve into the wonders of nature in Unit 2 of our course. In this video, we'll be exploring the richness of Lesson 1, taking a fascinating reading adventure in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. Get ready to immerse yourself in a world of captivating vocabulary and language skills. And that's not all, we have a special section waiting for you at the end of the lesson, where we'll dive into some of the more challenging words covered. But that's not the only treat we have for you today. Lessons 2 and 3 will involve dynamic listening and speaking activities. The conversations will be presented multiple times to enhance your listening skills, with a unique twist in the second round as we incorporate written content on the screen. Additionally, in the speaking lesson, we'll present the conversation in a duet style, making it both engaging and educational. Before we kick off this language adventure, don't forget to show some love. If you enjoy the content, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell button to stay updated with all our upcoming lessons. I encourage you to actively participate in the comments section below, sharing your thoughts, questions, and language insights. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the magic of words in nature in Unit 2, exploring the wonders of nature. Enjoy the journey! Hello everyone and welcome! I'm thrilled to have you here for another exciting reading adventure. Today, we've got something truly special lined up for you. So, grab your favorite reading spot, a cozy blanket, and let's dive into the world of words together. We have three captivating pages ahead of us, filled with an exhilarating adventure that's sure to spark your imagination. After we finish reading, we will have a special section for the words that were mentioned in the lesson, so continue with us and prepare your notebook and pen to enhance your own dictionary. Are you ready? Let's go! Introduction Prepare to embark on an unforgettable adventure deep into the heart of the Amazon rainforest, the world's largest and most biodiverse ecosystem. As we venture into this emerald labyrinth, we'll encounter a mesmerizing array of flora and fauna, uncover the secrets of indigenous cultures, and delve into the challenges and triumphs of conservation efforts. Join us as we explore the wonders of the Amazon rainforest, a place where nature reigns supreme and the spirit of adventure thrives. Journey into the Rainforest's Depths Our journey begins in the bustling city of Iquitos, Peru, a gateway to the Amazon River, the lifeblood of the rainforest. As we board a traditional wooden boat, known as a chango, the city's vibrant energy fades away, replaced by the tranquility of the verdant landscape. The vast expanse of the Amazon River stretches before us, its murky waters weaving through a maze of towering trees, their branches intertwined to form a verdant canopy overhead. As we venture deeper into the rainforest, the sounds of civilization gradually fade into the symphony of nature. The air hums with the chatter of insects, the calls of exotic birds echo through the trees, and the occasional splash of a caiman or river dolphin breaks the surface of the water. The forest itself becomes our guide, its myriad pathways leading us into its hidden depths. Encountering the Rainforest's Treasures With each step, we uncover the Amazon's boundless treasures. Vibrant butterflies flutter among the foliage, their wings adorned with kaleidoscopic patterns. Troops of monkeys swing from branch to branch, 
their playful chatter filling the air. Emerald green snakes slither through the undergrowth, while elusive jaguars silently stalk their prey. The rainforest is a living tapestry, each thread woven from the intricate web of life that thrives within its depths. Unveiling the Secrets of Indigenous Culture As we explore the rainforest, we encounter the indigenous communities that have called this land home for millennia. Their deep connection to the natural world is evident in their knowledge of the rainforest's flora and fauna, their mastery of traditional hunting and gathering techniques, and their profound respect for the delicate balance of the ecosystem. We learn about their intricate belief systems, where spirits reside within the trees and rivers, and the delicate balance between humans and nature is revered. Their stories, passed down through generations, hold the wisdom of the rainforest, revealing the secrets of its survival and the fragility of its existence. Facing the Challenges of Conservation Despite its immense diversity, the Amazon rainforest faces a multitude of threats. Deforestation for agriculture and cattle ranching, the unsustainable extraction of natural resources, and the impacts of climate change are putting immense pressure on this fragile ecosystem. As we witness the scars left by human activities, we realize the urgent need for conservation efforts that protect the rainforest's delicate balance and safeguard its future, celebrating triumphs of conservation. Amidst the challenges, there are also stories of hope and resilience. Dedicated conservationists, both indigenous and international, are working tirelessly to protect the rainforest's biodiversity and the communities that depend on it. They establish protected areas, conduct research, and engage local communities in sustainable practices demonstrating that conservation is not just a necessity but also an opportunity for sustainable development and cultural preservation. Conclusion Our adventure in the Amazon rainforest concludes with a profound appreciation for the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of preserving this vital ecosystem. We depart with a renewed sense of purpose, committed to playing our part in protecting the Amazon's wonders and ensuring that its emerald heart continues to beat for generations to come. Now, get your pen and notebook ready and let's write these words. Labyrinth A maze of complex or interconnected passages or paths. Verdant Covered with fresh green grass or plants. Murky. Dark and difficult to see through, especially because of mud or sediment. Cayman. A large reptile related to the crocodile, typically found in South America. Kaleidoscopic. Having a variety of bright colors. Elusive. Difficult to catch or find. Intricate. Having many complicated or interwoven parts. Mastery, the state of having complete knowledge or skill in something. Profound. Deeply thoughtful or feeling, intense. Delicate. Of fine texture or structure, fragile. Mitigate. Make less severe serious, or harmful. Sustainable. Able to be maintained at a certain rate or level without depleting resources or causing harm to the environment. Resilience. The ability to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. Dedicated. Very committed to a task or purpose. Sustainable Development 
Development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So Alex, I've heard you're interested in learning more about eco-friendly travel? Yes, I am. I've always loved traveling, but I've become increasingly aware of the negative impact tourism can have on the environment. I'm looking for ways to travel more responsibly and minimize my carbon footprint. That's great. Eco-friendly travel, or ecotourism, is all about minimizing the negative impact of tourism and maximizing the positive benefits for local communities and the environment. It's about traveling in a way that is sustainable, respectful, and responsible. That sounds like a tall order. How can I even begin to make my travel habits more eco-friendly? It's all about making conscious choices and adopting sustainable practices throughout your travel journey. Let's start with transportation. How do you typically travel when you go on vacation? I usually fly, as it's often the fastest and most convenient option. But I've heard that flying is one of the most significant contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. That's true. Air travel accounts for a significant portion of the carbon footprint associated with tourism. If you can, consider alternative transportation options, such as trains or buses. They may take longer, but they have a much lower environmental impact. I'll keep that in mind. What about accommodation? How can I choose eco-friendly hotels or lodgings? Look for hotels and resorts that are committed to sustainability practices. They may have implemented energy-efficient measures, use eco-friendly cleaning products, and support local conservation efforts. That makes sense. I've also heard about eco-lodges, which are specifically designed to minimize their environmental impact. Yes, eco-lodges are a great option. They often use renewable energy sources, source food locally, and actively engage in conservation initiatives. What about activities and excursions? How can I make eco-friendly choices when planning my itinerary? Support local businesses and participate in activities that promote sustainable practices. For instance, take a guided tour with a local company that specializes in ecotourism or visit a community-run project that benefits the environment. I've also heard about volunteering opportunities at eco-friendly destinations. Absolutely. Volunteering is a fantastic way to immerse yourself in the local culture, contribute to conservation efforts, and make a positive impact on the community. That sounds like a rewarding experience. I'm definitely interested in exploring that option. Remember, eco-friendly travel is not just about making individual choices. It's also about being mindful of your impact throughout your journey. Be respectful of local cultures and traditions, conserve resources like water and energy, and dispose of waste properly. Those are important reminders. I want to make sure my travels are not only enjoyable but also have a positive impact on the places I visit. That's the spirit. Eco-friendly travel is about creating a positive cycle of responsible tourism that benefits the environment, local communities, and the travelers themselves. Thank you for sharing your insights, Emily. I'm feeling more confident about incorporating eco-friendly practices into my future travels. 
You're welcome, Alex. Remember, every step you take towards eco-friendly travel makes a difference. By making conscious choices and adopting sustainable practices, we can all contribute to a more responsible and environmentally friendly way of exploring the world. So Alex, I've heard you're interested in learning more about eco-friendly travel? Yes I am. I've always loved traveling, but I've become increasingly aware of the negative impact tourism can have on the environment. I'm looking for ways to travel more responsibly and minimize my carbon footprint. That's great. Eco-friendly travel, or ecotourism, is all about minimizing the negative impact of tourism and maximizing the positive benefits for local communities and the environment. It's about traveling in a way that is sustainable, respectful, and responsible. That sounds like a tall order. How can I even begin to make my travel habits more eco-friendly? It's all about making conscious choices and adopting sustainable practices throughout your travel journey. Let's start with transportation. How do you typically travel when you go on vacation? I usually fly, as it's often the fastest and most convenient option. But I've heard that flying is one of the most significant contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. That's true. Air travel accounts for a significant portion of the carbon footprint associated with tourism. If you can, consider alternative transportation options, such as trains or buses. They may take longer, but they have a much lower environmental impact. I'll keep that in mind. What about accommodation? How can I choose eco-friendly hotels or lodgings? Look for hotels and resorts that are committed to sustainability practices. They may have implemented energy-efficient measures, use eco-friendly cleaning products, and support local conservation efforts. That makes sense. I've also heard about eco-lodges which are specifically designed to minimize their environmental impact. Yes, eco-lodges are a great option. They often use renewable energy sources, source food locally, and actively engage in conservation initiatives. What about activities and excursions? How can I make eco-friendly choices when planning my itinerary? Support local businesses and participate in activities that promote sustainable practices. For instance, take a guided tour with a local company that specializes in ecotourism or visit a community-run project that benefits the environment. I've also heard about volunteering opportunities at eco-friendly destinations. Absolutely. Volunteering is a fantastic way to immerse yourself in the local culture, contribute to conservation efforts, and make a positive impact on the community. That sounds like a rewarding experience. I'm definitely interested in exploring that option. Remember, eco-friendly travel is not just about making individual choices. It's also about being mindful of your impact throughout your journey. Be respectful of local cultures and traditions, conserve resources like water and energy, and dispose of waste properly. Those are important reminders. I want to make sure my travels are not only enjoyable but also have a positive impact on the places I visit. That's the spirit. Eco-friendly travel is about creating a positive cycle of responsible tourism that benefits the environment, local communities, and the travelers themselves. 
Thank you for sharing your insights, Emily. I'm feeling more confident about incorporating eco friendly practices into my future travels. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, every step you take towards eco friendly travel makes a difference. By making conscious choices and adopting sustainable practices, we can all contribute to a more responsible and environmentally friendly way of exploring the world. So Alex, I've heard you're interested in learning more about eco-friendly travel? Yes, I am. I've always loved traveling but I've become increasingly aware of the negative impact tourism can have on the environment. I'm looking for ways to travel more responsibly and minimize my carbon footprint. That's great. Eco-friendly travel, or ecotourism, is all about minimizing the negative impact of tourism and maximizing the positive benefits for local communities and the environment. It's about traveling in a way that is sustainable, respectful, and responsible. It's all about making conscious choices and adopting sustainable practices throughout your travel journey. Let's start with transportation. How do you typically travel when you go on vacation? That's true. Air travel accounts for a significant portion of the carbon footprint associated with tourism. If you can, consider alternative transportation options, such as trains or buses. They may take longer, but they have a much lower environmental impact. Look for hotels and resorts that are committed to sustainability practices. They may have implemented energy-efficient measures, use eco-friendly cleaning products, and support local conservation efforts. Yes, eco-lodges are a great option. They often use renewable energy sources, source food locally, and actively engage in conservation initiatives. Support local businesses and participate in activities that promote sustainable practices. For instance, take a guided tour with a local company that specializes in ecotourism or visit a community-run project that benefits the environment. Absolutely! Volunteering is a fantastic way to immerse yourself in the local culture, contribute to conservation efforts, and make a positive impact on the community. Remember, eco-friendly travel is not just about making individual choices. It's also about being mindful of your impact throughout your journey. Be respectful of local cultures and traditions, conserve resources like water and energy, and dispose of waste properly. That's the spirit. 
Eco-friendly travel is about creating a positive cycle of responsible tourism that benefits the environment, local communities, and the travelers themselves. You're welcome, Alex. Remember, Every step you take towards eco-friendly travel makes a difference. By making conscious choices and adopting sustainable practices, we can all contribute to a more responsible and environmentally friendly way of exploring the world.